Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you remind me? Guys, I completely forgot about the uh, Patty Tolly Parish's stamp set giveaway. That was last month. <laughs> I completely forgot. Ooh, and I have a nasty reflection right here. Uh, lighting system, which will be upgraded soon. We'll talk about that later. There's a lot of things to talk about. First of all, happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. And uh, may you spend it in uh, the company of your loved ones. Lots to talk about. I know that um, you have seen a huge influx of videos on my channel. That's because I'm participating in the Nano... Jomo? Jumo? Okay. See, I'm French, so when I see J-O-U, I say Ju, because that's how we pronounce it. But the J, the J, <laughs> the, the J-O-U stands for journal, if I'm not mistaken. But we don't say journal, we say journal, so it's probably Nano Jomo. So I've been saying it wrong this whole time. But anyways, um... So yes, I have been making a video every day or try to post one every day. I was somewhat delayed with my computer crashing and which brings me to a very um, important subject for those of you who have Apple computers and you are a power user like I am, meaning that you are uh, using a lot of the third party software like um, I always say FileMaker Pro, that dates back from a long time ago. Final Cut, um, uh, Adobe, all the Adobe suites. Um, I also use Firefox, I don't like to use Safari. I use Safari for my customer, but I don't use uh, Safari for my own stuff. Anyways, all this to say that um, the third party software are not quite up to par with the new OS that Apple released uh, called El Capitan. So if you are on the fence whether you should download it or not, wait a little bit because it created a whole bunch of problems on my laptop. And then I don't know if it's coincidental, but my logic board crashed. And um, luckily I didn't have to pay for the repair because my computer, the specific model and year it was made, uh, is part of a kind of like a special extended warranty for the logic board. Uh, probably because they've had a lot of problems with that. Anyway, so that got fixed, but then as soon as it was fixed, we had a whole bunch of problems due to El Capitan. Um, we, I couldn't read my emails and we couldn't figure it out. It took two geniuses at the Genius Bar to figure it out and it took them three hours. So even now still my computer is not quite um, as tight as it was. Um, I'm still having some issues when I use Photoshop, Bridge, and uh, Firefox is probably my, my biggest problem. But anyways, so my advice to you, just wait a little bit. Okay, whoops, sorry. I had my cheat sheet and I can't find it. Hold on. Ah, here it is. Ah. I have a few canvases to show you. One of them is right there. Hang on, let me just bring it to you. Oops, it's not completely finished. But I'm very happy with the colors. I'll hide behind. Hopefully this is in focus. This is my medieval Christmas <laughs> village uh, that I did when Jody O was in town at Scrubbook Central. And everybody was making cute little funky houses and I couldn't make them. I don't know. For some reason they just turned into towers. Probably because I like making tall buildings and I can't make small houses. So I've got a kind of like a candy cane motif going on here and that kind of set the tone for everything. I still have to add a little bit more uh, details and then paint the sides. But um, that's, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Another creation that I wanted to share with you is this one that I did during a live stream on the Craft Shack community on November 3rd and this was part of a challenge so Heather over at the Craft Shack does a 3 to one challenge every month and so she let me set the parameters for this one because I was a special guest and so the th so we had to use the three to one so three of the same thing two of the same thing and one thing so my three of the same thing were three colors 
and I added a fourth one. <laughs> uh, and, and then I chose two stencils and one canvas. And this is what I did. I'm trying to show you. Uh, there's a lot of glitter going on here, but it's kind of difficult to see. And these are grapes stems <laughs> that I kept. I thought originally I was going to stamp with them, uh, but they got really dry really fast. So I kind of... I was playing around with them during the show and then I decided that they would make awesome trees so they do and then I painted the side gold so and Heather has done a beautiful canvas sorry I'm off frame actually she made two she made one during the show then she finished it off air and then two weeks ago I think it was she used the same technique and she did another canvas and did, both of them just came out absolutely gorgeous so I will Try to either link in the description or post a card. Um, I'm not sure if it's released publicly, but anyways, I'll try to figure it out or insert a picture or something. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of people on the live chat and it was so much fun. I've never done a live show and I was extremely uh, nervous beforehand and then once we got online, it was fun. So uh, thank you again, Heather, for hosting such a fun event. Um, what else did I want to talk to you about? I lost my cheat sheet again. Oh, uh, the other canvas, I will post a picture here. Um, the other canvas that I made was my last contribution to Donna Downey Studios Artist Gang. And that was posted on November 17th. I did a cityscape and uh, I think it turned out well. Um, in fact, so much that someone went actually wants to buy the original and I'm kind of iffy as to uh, whether I want to part with the original or not but uh, an option that I was looking at and um, this brings me to my next topic is um, selling prints of my artwork so I'm pretty sure that I'm looking at two different stores online uh, so probably in January I'll have my online store that's all in the works so just be patient um, for my patrons because I have started a Patreon page. I'm very excited about that and I'll talk about that later. But for my patrons, um, prints of my artwork is also an option, but I got you covered for uh, this month. So do not fear, you will get your goodies. You probably noticed that my curtains are clear of all the postcards that you guys have sent me. They're right here on my desk. That's because I have, uh, you can't see it. Um, here, I'll turn on my other camera. I have uh, refurbished, let me press the play button, I have refurbished this bulletin board. Um, it used to be brown, so I painted it white. Oh, and there's the canvas, hold on. I'll show you that at the same time. You probably have seen this, because most of the people that watch my vlogs also watch this. But this is the canvas that I did for Donna. And this is my bulletin board that I just painted white. And I'm going to hang uh, the postcards on that as soon as I get around to doing it. Because I just, I just put this up there this morning. Um, so yeah, and uh, I will probably do a studio tour because I'm finally almost... <laughs> I think, yeah, 99%. I just have to clean up some of this stuff here on the bookshelf for my stamp sets. Um, I do want to give some away as well. I have a ridiculous amount of stamps that I don't use anymore. I need to declutter that space. The rest is pretty much all done. Um, I have moved some furniture since I have moved my studio in here. Uh, this went um, in the living room and it looks good there so yeah probably in December the room tour is gonna come there's a lot of things going on <laughs> um, I'm very very busy I'm working on different projects one of them I really cannot talk about it it's a secret but the secret will be revealed in I think February 2016 so stay tuned for that um, I do have an online class that you can grab if you're looking for something new to do um, starting January 2016. It's called Love Art Happy Life. I think you've heard about it before from me, but um, I just I can't stress enough the value of this class because there are 
12 other teachers, and, um, include, um, apart from me, so we're 13 in all, there's also a creative coach, and uh, I like that mm, style of um, teaching and also classes because you get a good variety of classes all in one shot. And speaking of which, if you were on the fence um, for uh, buying this class, Love Art Happy Life, I will post a link below. Uh, there's still the early bird discount that's going on until November 30th. So you've got just a few days left to um, take advantage of that discount. It's a good discount. So um, yeah, link below. I have received Happy Mail, which I will share with you. I have opened the packages, but I haven't peeked inside. So I guess I'll do that now. Yes, let's do that now. Okay, so before I get into the Happy Mail and stuff, I want to show you something that I was quite upset about. And um, I'll post a picture right here. I think I took it on my camera. I'm not sure. I know that I uh, posted on Instagram. I did this doodling with gel pens. Uh, these are the neon jelly rolls and these are the metallic ones now. Let me just zoom in and See if I can show you. Okay, so you see bits and pieces remnants <laughs> of what the uh, Little swirlies were they were vibrant gold. Okay, they disappeared They almost completely disappeared on this uh, page. This is the black dilutions journal. I'm so upset. So I want to know if any of you have had that type of experience uh, because I've never seen this. It's kind of like the disappearing ink. Really, really strange. Here's another page I want to show you just really quickly in my black journal because I really love how it turned out. That was kind of like the precursor of the uh, big 16 by 20 frame that I did for Donna Downey's Artist Gang. But I love how, um, I love this journal by the way. This is so much fun. I can't wait to fill this up. Uh, but I love how the colors look on black as opposed to white. Here I have put down uh, white gesso and I like the progression of the color. I think it's just cool. But lots of colors. I love that that page. That was part also of the Nano Jumbo. So if you want to see how I did that, go check out the playlist. Um, in case you're wondering what I do with my underpapers, I started cutting them down in strips like that. Uh, Danielle Donaldson does that. Uh, I've noticed that in one of her videos, she had that. And so I've been collecting my underpaper. I love this one. This one is probably one of my favorites. But I've been cutting them down into strips because I intend to use them. I want to do some collages in 2016. That's one of my goals. But all the little pieces, you know, keep those. And so what I've been doing, this was kind of like that what gave me the idea of this. This is um, a swatch of all the Arches watercolor paper. What I did is I took my cheapy Michaels $5 watercolor set and I kind of like put down colors on all of them. And I like the fact that they are all identified. But this is just like new... I tightened the screw a little bit too much when I put that back together. Uh, but this is just another example, okay, I can't even open it, of um, swatches that you can keep. All kinds of backgrounds. Here I scribbled the word love. I actually removed some of the color with um, a brush. Hello. But not bad for a cheap set, huh? So I, and I tried to vary the colors. This one I don't particularly like, but it's in there, you know, fun, huh? So I can use these also in collage. They're quite thick, but you can use them as, you know, main accent uh, piece, much like I did here um, in this, where is it? This is upside down. Okay. This one here, this page, that paper, was actually, it looks crooked now. I think it dried crooked. <laughs> uh, that piece was a piece of under paper and I was seeing kind of like a forest with a, a black brook <laughs> in it. And so I just um, took a, a pen and I just doodled around it. And so save your under papers and your scrap paper. I call them garbage papers. That's what I wrote down on my cheat sheet and I couldn't remember what the heck I wanted to talk about. 
right, so we can now move on to happy mail and um, the first one is from Jackie, Jackie Blackwell and it's a personal letter from her so I'm not going to read this on camera. Um, I have peeked, I just peeked inside to see what it was but uh, Jackie just know that I've received your letter. I have not read it, um, I just like started reading it like very quickly but I will read it uh, quietly and then I'll, I'll get back to you but thank you for that. Um, okay, so the next two ones, mm, let's keep Heather last because I've, I'm going to touch on a subject with that. Okay, so the next one is from Peg Robinson. Uh, Peg had previously sent me a piece of jewelry and I broke it <laughs> and I told her. <laughs> and she said she's going to send me another one and I just, I opened the envelope and Peg, there's a lot more than a piece of jewelry in there. <gasps> oh! Uh oh, I see something. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh, she sent me an original piece of artwork. This. Oh, and it's framed! Are you kidding me? Look at this! Oh, I gotta zoom in for this. This is like gorgeous! Oh my gosh, look at that. This is absolutely stunning! A misty morning does not signify a cloudy day. Oh, I love this. I love the colors. Look how beautiful. What a gorgeous watercolor. That is absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. Uh-oh. Okay, if this is the piece of jewelry, this is a little heavier than the original one. Okay, hold on. Oh. oh my goodness. I mean, I I really did like the first one, but look at that one. That's even more intricate. Oh, oh look at the wiring and all that. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, you're so good at this. <laughs> I don't do jewelry. I don't do anything 3D at all. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this bead. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. And I love the chain is long. Yay! Oh, thank you so, so much. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at it. It just shines. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and I like that paper. Oh, look at that. It's a piece of London paper. Not the real thing, but... Ah! A jolly fine day for enjoying fish and chips. I guess this is what they use to uh, wrap up the fish and chips when you order. Uh, there's more. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. <gasps> That's Shanghai, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I know what happened. I have received this postcard from um, Andriana from Shanghai. And it was the same day that I have received Peg's envelope. And I didn't want to uh, misplace it, so I just like shoved it in Peg's envelope. But it's right here. Look how beautiful. This is Shanghai. Hi Cece, since I know how much you love everything oriental, I'm sending you uh, hellos from wonderful Shanghai. Love, Andriana. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, one day I will go to Asia. Gorgeous, thank you, Andriana. That is going to go on my new bulletin board. I will do a rotation of what I get, uh, what I put up on my bulletin board just because I won't be able to put everything that I receive uh, just because there's too much. Ooh. Okay, so <laughs> so that was Andriana. <laughs> We're continuing with pegs. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, hold on. These look like boxes. You know those pillow boxes that you can use to wrap... Oh, yeah! She jelly printed them! How clever! See, I would never thought of doing... I would never think of doing this. Do you know those boxes where you're just like... Hold on, I don't want to ruin it, because... Uh, I think I did it the wrong way. Hold on. This piece is supposed to go in first. Oh my goodness! 
What a clever idea! Look how pretty this is. And then you would close the same uh, the same way at the other end. So you put your stuff in it, and then ah, oh, I love it. Oh, and this is the hieroglyphics uh, stencils by Patty. Also, I see the other ones there in the background. This is all Patty stuff. Wow! And look, she did a black. Oh, that's on black with blues. How beautiful! Oh, love that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Nice. What that's so clever. I love that idea. Wow. And this is I guess more pattern paper. Hold on. Oh, I like these images. So the fall foliage. Oh, there's a card. <gasps> okay, stop it. Look, she made me earrings. Oh, they look like metal. Yeah, they are. Oh, it looks like one of the hearts fell. That's okay. I can glue that. I'll, I'll glue them in. Uh, it's not a heart. It's a leaf. Oh, but it's so pretty. I'm trying to get the other one to move because the other one, you can see the, the leaf right here. Oh, this is so pretty. <sighs> Thank you, Fag. Oh, my goodness. I'm spoiled. And more jelly print. Aww. Oh, what is that? Oh, these are silk screens and they're self adhesive. Huh? Okay, hold on. I'll have to read the instructions, but um, here's the finished product. This is going to be fun. Thank you. So oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a card. I'm just gonna, ooh, <gasps> look at the beautiful card. Oh, I love this. Very simple, very chic. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> she included some die cuts. Thanks, dear sweet craft friend, for sharing your time and talent with me, Peg. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Peg. Uh, the last one is from, um, I'm gonna open this one up first, because uh, last, because I know what this is. I have no idea what this envelope is, though. So I'm gonna make sure that I can show this on camera. Okay, I know what this is. <laughs> okay, so um, if you don't know, uh, Heather, who um, is in charge of the Craft Shack community, has a patron account for the Craft Shack. And um, I am one of her patrons. And so I was in the first, or I'm in the top tens for her, uh, on her Patreon. And so I qualified for a special gift. So this is over and above um, the monthly exclusive rewards that you can get. <gasps> I've seen her do this. No way. I've seen her do this. This is done with pan pastel. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much for sending me this. This is gorgeous. Look, and there's a signature. Pretty impressive. Oh my gosh, how sweet is this? Thank you so much. Another thing to frame. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to have like a wall of fame for all this stuff that I can hang from you guys because, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, oh look, she stamped on the, on the tissue paper. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you, Heather. All right, and uh, the category that I signed up for in on her Patreon is uh, to receive, oh, to receive uh, a pocket letter. Wow, look at this. Oh, the goodies. Oh my goodness. So the she had like three different categories. There were flowers leaves and the other one was like I think it was was it cogs and stuff like that it was different um it was anyways there were three themes and I chose the flower ones and so this is what it looks like and she included goodies and in all of them and on the back oh look at that thank you for your support Heather look how beautiful <gasps> love the colors Heather oh yum isn't that fun? 
So she says, Cece, thank you, my friend, for the wonderful monthly support. I hope you will enjoy this pocket letter as you will get one each month. This one includes the floral ATC I made and a crocheted flower, too. Oh, <laughs> I hope you like them. Thank you, Heather. Of course I like them. But look, there's all kinds of goodies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. I love this. A, a jute flower. Oh, no. Why did I take this out? Okay, I'll put that back later. <laughs> I don't want to mess anything up. So, essentially, it's all kinds of things related to flowers. So, um, if you're not familiar with pocket letters, uh, A, where have you been? Because it's all the rage. I haven't gone. Um, I haven't been on that. I didn't jump on that because I don't have time, but uh, it's essentially uh, this format that people exchange amongst each other and they include little goodies and pieces of artwork. I love this. Um, also, I have halfback pearls. I've got another flower that she dyed, I'm assuming. Oh, these are cute. Oh, oh, they're velvet. Velvet flowers and a doily. Oh, and the wooden um, hot air balloon. I love the hot air balloons. And this is her hand crocheted flower. Oh, so sweet and so soft. Thank you. Oh, this is so nice. And an apple, that's a wooden shape. These two are wood. And this is a bling bling um, flag, I guess, flag and. Oh, love this. So um, go ahead and check her out on Patreon. This is what you would get as a reward, well, not that's not the only reward but uh the category that i've signed on uh this is the uh, reward that i get every month plus other goodies so yeah um i'm very very super happy with everything that i have received you guys you're amazing and um uh my patreon stuff from the craft shack community my very first Yay! I'm so excited and uh, I'm going to switch to my other camera because I want to talk to you a little bit about Patreon and then we'll do the giveaway, I promise. I know this vlog is long, but um, I promise we'll do the giveaway. Incredible, huh? It's amazing. Uh, you guys are amazing. You're awesome. By the way, uh, Peg, if you are watching this, do not send me another pair of earrings, okay? I'm not using reverse psychology here. Don't send them to me again. I will fix them, okay? You're one of my patrons. You're not supposed to send me stuff. I'm supposed to give you stuff, okay? Okay. Uh, speaking of patrons and Patreon, what a nice segue. I'm so good at that. <laughs> um, so you've seen me talk about, or you've heard me talk about, my table squeaking, it's not me, uh, about Patreon um, when I was showing you the pocket letter. Uh, by Heather. I too have a Patreon uh, page and uh, I just released the video publicly two days ago. Um, I thought I had and for some reason I forgot so it was still private so only my patrons were able to see it or only people that were visiting my Patreon page. But um, I am so floored. I am so overwhelmed right now. So my page, uh, I officially launched the page um, on November 2nd and I've already reached my first milestone guys. Um, well okay, yes and no because I, I said that if I was going to reach a certain amount for two consecutive months I would be able to replace my lighting system. But I'm thinking of revising that. I think I'm just going to do it because, ah, this is so amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm still struggling with lighting. The little LED panels that I bought, I thought uh, were going to do the trick. But one of them is kind of defective. It's not charging properly. And it just dies on me all the time. And I have to plug, plug it back in. And then it just creates like a lot of wires around me. So I think I would just like go for a soft box system. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it now as opposed to next month. Anyways, we'll figure that out. But um, thank you so much for those who have pledged. I am like unbelievably grateful. And I honestly did not think that um, I would reach this amount so soon at all. So I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very hopeful that I will get 
to reach my last milestone which would be to take some kind of show on the road and meet you guys um, I'm not talking about teaching I'm just talking about meet and greets and just like having fun having a big party having a big art party how does that sound that would be so awesome anyways I, I know it's going to take a while to reach there, but um, and have no fear for those of you who think that um, I will let go of my free YouTube channels, uh, channels, my free YouTube videos. No, that's not the object here. The object is to uh, be able to get funding to improve the quality of my videos and to develop more fun stuff for all of you. That would be awesome. So um, these videos will always happen. My tutorials or whatever process videos, I guess they're not full on tutorials, but my process videos will always be on. Speaking of uh, videos, I have to run because I have to film another Nano J Jomo. <laughs> Nano Jomo. Uh, oh, the giveaway. I was going to end this and not do the giveaway again. See, because you didn't remind me. You should have knocked on my door and remind me. Okay, I have my computer right here in front of me and I will grab my camera. Uh, first, I have made a list of all the comments, uh, printed them, numbered them. That was a long process. I think my next giveaway will be uh, done with raffle copter just because it's easier. But there are 231 comments. So I'm gonna switch over to this camera. I've already uh, prepared my page here on my computer. Uh, for random.org. Hold on. I'm going to try and do this one handed. Whoop. Maybe. Uh, would this be better? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, so what did I say? 231. So I will plug in the number here. I'm watching in my viewfinder. It's not easy. 231. And I'm going to hit generate. And it is number 150. Okay, number 150. Let's, sorry about that. <laughs> Shaky. Uh, 150 on the list is. Let's see if she answered the question. Yes! Oh, I'm not sure if this person is French or English, but. She, oh, 150 here. Uh, Denise Martin, she could be French, she could be English. I love your Christmas tree. As far as Christmas colors, I love shades of green and icy whites. So congratulations, Denise. Um, or félicitations. <laughs> I will send you a message uh, asking for your uh, mailing address. And I will send you this wonderful... Patty Tolly Parish stamp sets, which I absolutely love. And that's it. That's it. That's all the news I had. I will try to vlog more in December just because Nano Jomo will be over, but I have a few deadlines that I need to finish from here until the end of November. So fingers crossed that December will be a little bit more relaxed, but. Ugh. I don't see it being more relaxed, but that's okay. It's all good. So anyways, my battery is about to run out. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and I will see, see you later. Bye. Thanksgiving to all of my American friends. Cheers to you. You don't say cheers for that, right? Blessing. Gobble, gobble. It's gobble day. Well, I have a big, I have a reflection on my cheek. <laughs> We've had a good uh, turn around, turn out, turn out, turn out, people, turn out, turn out. Um, yeah, I got lost again. Just blah, 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 blah. Depending on availability, Availab availability. Bleh. Okay? 
Okay. Redo.